Okay, so this is the tile that I installed, glass tile, and I need Superflex to install that, and this is where I'm at. Start over here, pull the tile, move my way around it. Now it's time to install some tile. Uh, I, you can see the ledger board under there between the two countertops. That's just to keep the tile from sliding down. And I am using a uh, premium polymer modified thin set. And uh, what I'm using here is Tech Superflex. Glass tile requires a high polymer content thin set. And when I install it with your regular thin set that you would normally install ceramic or porcelain tile with uh, it has to be a high polymer content thin set. You can use the uh, more expensive thin set to set tile, uh, regular tile, but you shouldn't use the regular thin set to set glass tile. If you do it will stay up for a while uh, but it won't have very good adhesion to the thin set so you have to use a premium high polymer content thin set. And like I said, uh, what I'm using here is Superflex and it's white. And you want to use white uh, for, you know, light colored tiles like these because if you use a gray thin set with uh, these kinds of tiles here, it will change what the tile looks like. So, uh, just make sure you uh, get the right kind of thin set for the type of tile that you're using. So this is one I polished the end so that the end there uh, it'll look, look good so that's a polished side this is what looks like unpolished and that's what looks like polished that's the polished part that I did Okay, so that's done around there, which was a little bit of a challenge because of all the little pieces. And now I'm going to move on to the rest. That's this wall is all done and now I'll move on to the other wall.
that's the um, whole backsplash all done, all set, all installed. Now I'm going to let it set overnight and then tomorrow I'll come back and grout it. Okay, so it's all cleaned up. This is uh, the following day now. I set this yesterday and now I'm going to grout. And I'm using Tech Standard White Unstandard Grout Color Matching Cork and the Grout Boost for uh, to make it stain resistant. Okay, so in this house I've done this backsplash, which uh, I still have to grout. I'm going to get it ready to do that. But I also did this fireplace here. And there's a video on how I did that. And also did this bathroom here for these people. Very nice people. And uh, this little backsplash area. And this is the tub area that I did these people. This is about oh maybe a year ago that I did this bathroom. A little small but very nice. About to grout this and um, I'm using unsanded grout. And um, for a lot of glass tiles, especially the um, polished ones or the shiny ones, you don't want to use a sanded grout because the sand in the grout can um, scratch the tile. Uh, but sometimes on other kinds of uh, tile, uh, they require that you use sanded grout. Uh, those are mainly the tiles that aren't shiny and um, they've got a kind of a rough surface and uh, uh, what you really need to do is just check to make sure what kind of grout you have to use, whether it be sanded or unsanded. Generally, when the tile is polished or shiny, you use an unsanded, and when it's um, not shiny, uh, you still sometimes have to use an unsanded, but sometimes uh, you need to use <coughs> a sanded grout. So just check uh, before you grout, because you want to use the right kind of grout for, um, for your tile. Uh, uh, just to give a little bit of information here, uh, generally a uh, unsanded grout is used for a grout line that is an eighth of an inch or smaller, and uh, sanded grout is used for grout lines that are an eighth of an inch or larger. So the eighth inch grout line you can go either way. Uh, most of the times when I have a grout, an eighth inch grout line, I would will uh, use the sanded because it fills the joint better uh, but if it's a glass tile you want to make sure you use uh, the unsanded if that's what it calls for and um, so you know it's uh, important that you use the right kind of grout for the uh, tile uh, that you've got uh, on the wall or on the floor or wherever it may be process for um, grouting is, uh, first of all, you're going to spread some grout uh, on your tile, and like I'm doing here. You're going to spread it all out, and you're going to go over the tile and over the grout lines in multiple directions. And the reason you go in uh, uh, multiple directions is so you completely fill the grout line. And then, and so you push it into the grout by holding the float at a low angle. And that way you're, you're forcing the grout into the um, grout line. And then you wipe off the excess by holding the grout at a high angle. And that'll clean off most of the excess. And you just keep on repeating this and repeating it until you get uh, an area done. And then once that area is done, you're going to let it set up for a few minutes. Uh, typically, uh, when you're doing a backsplash or floor or whatever but by the time you get from one end to the other end the, the part that you um, started at is going to be probably 
uh, set up enough for you to start washing it down. And when you wash it down, you want to make sure that you use uh, uh, just a damp sponge. You rinse off your sponge off and you um, wring out as much water as possible. You don't want any water dripping, fr dripping from the sponge and uh, you clean your grout like that. I actually have a video that explains how to do it. So if you want to check that out, uh, a little more detail on how to do that. Okay, so that's grouted, and I'm going to move on to this here. Okay, so the backsplash has been grouted, and I'm going to caulk it. But something to remember about glass tile. Most of the time, when you're doing a polished glass, you want to use unsanded grout. Uh, because sanded grout can actually scratch the surface of the tile. It's not always true, but many times it is true. So. Um, depending on the glass tile that you have, you might want to just check to make sure what kind of grout you have to use, whether it be unsanded or sanded. Uh, some of the mosaic tiles like Oceanside glass and stuff like that, which don't have smooth surfaces, they actually require sanded grout. So you're going to have to just check and make sure that you know what type of grout to use on your glass tile. Very important. Now I'm going to caulk. Okay, so this is a color matching caulk. And I'm going to caulk these corners now.
Okay, so that's it. Routed, caulked, and done.